In this video, you will be studying about the relationships between human and the other primates and about the human evolution and you will come to know how the present human beings came into existence. When the biologists studied the human ancestors, they found more and more resemblance between primates and humans. The resemblances were more striking with gorillas and chimpanzees, which indicated that humans have shared common ancestors with other primates long ago. And to begin with, about 15 million years ago, both the ancestors of human and ape are believed to be evolved from semi-erect terrestrial form of primates called as preconsole. It has strong muscular arms longer than legs and these ancestors are named as Dryopithecus. Then in the course of time, it developed stronger and shredded legs with feet suited for walking with routine stereoscopic vision and acute hearing mechanism but the big toe gradually lost and they started using their grasping hands for various purposes and this type of prehuman is called as Zinzanthropus. Then comes the Ramaprathecus about 13 or 14 million years ago which is said to be appeared in certain regions of India. The word Rama signifies Indian origin and Pithecus meaning ape. It is considered as true ancestor of modern man, only the fossils of jaw and face were studied. Shortly after this period, the shifts in the earth's crust and severe changes in the climate led to the conversion of large forests into grasslands. Such changes have accelerated the evolution of our early ancestors. Then about 5 million years ago, a descendant of Ramapetikus appeared in the drier region of Eastern and Southern Africa and they were named as Australopithecus and these forms were considered at first humans. They were relatively short about 4.5 feet in height, forehead was low and brain capacity was equal to much taller modern gorilla and the cranial capacity was only one third of modern man. They walked erect, hunted in groups and used pebbles and bones as tools. Australopithecus then evolved into more distinctly human-like forms called as Homo habilis about 2.5 million years ago. Cranial capacity was 700 cc and limb bones resembled those of modern man. They used tools and weapons. Then about 1.5 million years ago, Homo habilis evolved into a more modern form of humans called Homo erectus and these individuals are said to have spread all over the world. About 250,000 years ago, human erectus was replaced by Homo sapiens, the species to which modern man belongs. It shows larger brain capacity and higher intellectual. They developed language and started using sophisticated tools and weapons. And the earliest form of human sapien is known as Neanderthal man, whose forehead was sloping with small chain and protruding jaws, good in making tools and developed speech. Then Neanderthal man was replaced by Cro-Magnon about 30,000 years ago. He had large stature, active and intelligent. They were associated with the animals and they used finely chipped stone arrows and spear points. Then comes modern man who is more advanced and capable of thinking, speaking, reading and writing, who developed agriculture and started domesticating animals. They developed science and technology using his intelligence emerging as the most dominant creature on